All right, if you're absent from the day that we did the parallel circuits, this video is for you. We have three resistors, one ohms, two ohms, and three ohms, are connected to a 12 volt battery as shown. These are in parallel. What is the total resistance in the circuit? What is the current across each resistor? We're also going to calculate the total current. Okay, first thing we'll get the equivalent resistance or the total resistance. So to start, you write 1 over REQ. That will equal 1 over the value for R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. When you get your answer for this, you will invert it, raise it to the negative 1, and that will give you your equivalent resistance. So let's go ahead and calculate it. 1 over REQ is equal to 1 over 1 ohm, that's the value for R1, plus 1 over 2 ohms, plus 1 over 3 ohms. If you know how to get a common denominator, this will be 11 over 6 ohms. This is not my resistance. This is 1 over the resistance. This is 1 over REQ. If I raise this now to the negative 1 power, it'll give me a resistance. The resistance value REQ, total resistance is equal to 6 over 11 ohms. Now let's say you don't want to get uh, common denominators. Well, you don't have to. You can use your calculator. So I'll show you the calculator, my Wabbit. Let's see, Wabbit. Open this up. Okay. So I can do 1 divided by 1 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 3, and this gives me 1.833. This value is 1 over REQ. So to get the equivalent resistance, I can raise that, that answer to the negative 1 power. That's to invert it. And I get 0 0.5454, or 5.4545 E negative 1. So equivalent resistance can also be written as 0 0.545 ohms. So if you do 6 divided by 11 in the calculator, you see you should get the same answer. Yep, they're the same. Okay, so that's the total resistance or the equivalent resistance in the circuit. Since we have the total resistance, let's get the total current. Remember I total? Well, I'm going to change colors for this. Do yellow here. Okay. I total will equal the voltage of the battery divided by the equivalent resistance battery. This is going to be 12 volts divided by 6 over 11 ohms. If I grab the Wabbit calculator, I can do 12 divided by, use your parentheses if you're not going to use the fraction tool, 6 over 11. Enter, and this is 22, 2.2 E1. That is 22 amps of total current in the circuit. So 22 amps flows out of the positive terminal of the battery and then it gets to one of these three branches, three branches in the circuit. So 22 amps of current. Part of the current can flow down R1. Part of the current splits off and flows down the branch with R2. And the other part of the current flows down the branch with R3. So what we'll do now is we will calculate the current Throwing, flowing through each resistor in this circuit. So, I will call I1, this will be the current through R1. Now we learned in class that all of these resistors in parallel get the same voltage as the battery. They each have an independent connection. So, 12 volts 
divided by R1 will give me the current through R1. The current through R2 will be the 12 volts of the battery divided by the value for R2 and I3, 12 volts of the battery divided by R3. So this is 12 volts divided by one ohm. That's 12 amps of current. So 12 amps flow through R1. For R2, that's 12 over 2 ohms. That's 6 amps of current passing through R2. And then through R3, that's 12 over 3 ohms. That's 4 amps of current passing through R3. Note 12 amps plus 6 amps plus 4 amps equals a total of 22 amps of current flowing through each of these resistors. They recombine, giving 22 amps going back into the negative end of the battery. So each one of these resistors gets a small portion of the current of the total 22 amps. The lowest resistor gets the most, gets the largest proportion of the current, and the largest resistor gets the smallest proportion of the current. And again, they all have 12 volts across them. They all drop 12 volts from the battery. So a battery wired in parallel with a bunch of resistors outputs more power and it runs out faster. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and study well.